in the early game. But we do finally see that bat right that I was talking about much earlier in the draft. And, well, C9, they're going to throw a bit of a curveball and pick up a Naga Siren. Definitely a good hero to have against what Vici Gaming are running if the Naga gets her Radiance online. And that's probably it. The game is, is likely already over. Um, then, yeah, that's about it. You can Song and you can kill uh, Nether Ward. Uh, and AUI is actually just going to swing over to mid to try and throw an arrow from back behind the trees. It's going to come straight on in. The Link's already up. 14 damage stolen from Fada, and that's already... That's a, that's a death. Super's down. Back on the hunt, looking to tip the tides on mid lane one more time. Super going to be trying to dodge this arrow as the Link comes in. Just a little bit off the mark from AUI, but they've got so much damage anyway. And a TP in from Bone 7. Can they also get the Courier with the Sprout Vision? Not going to happen. Ace picked up for FY. So Fada just has to try and fight this one out. Needs one more auto attack to finish the kill. Looks like Creeps might bring him down. Well, Tower Shot at the very least will do so. Arrow perfect from AUI. That's going to be three kills in exchange for one, though. Looks like Ice 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 not done just yet. Couple more stacks on Bone 7. And the TP in as well from uh, from FY looks like yeah it is going to end up being a three for three overall, and some much needed experience in Foundry was placed. But Bone Seven already out with the TPs. Looks like Black is the target, but Envy going to get blown up immediately. Highlight die a little bit late to this party. They might still be able to get Black. Bone Seven turning around for a few more auto attacks. So one for one ends up being the trade. Bone 7 over into the trees, but he doesn't have a TP scroll, so he's just going to buy up some more Null Talisman components as he gets beat to death. The mid lane territory, we have a 3v3 perhaps coming on, but the availability of the Nature's Wrath and the TP in from the Prophet always have to be kept in mind. Highlight Eye, Silas up being nuked. Nice Plasma Field out from Fada, but it's not going to kill FY just yet. They're sharing some bottle sips as well. It's one for one. Yet to break through a tower. Really weird build out of Super. Four points Crypt Swarm. Uh, only the three points in Witchcraft, no ultimate. Couple of TPs coming in to take advantage of a really nice arrow from AUI. Exercise needs to be careful. He does have his point tag. He's laying down some Firefly, dragging back Pylite Die. Will pick up at least the one kill, but might pay for an Echo Slam from Fenrir. Try to make some space. They keep on rolling. Ice 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 going to try and catch some people on the way out here. There's actually TPs coming in. They've isolated Owie, but a song from Envy is going to keep him safe. Still has the leap available. Exercise next to be focused. Nice Fisher, however, catches out three. The Mystic Slayer brings down Pylite Dive, but that's just going to be his ultimate. The tower is down, and that means that the Moonlight Shadow will keep everybody on C9 safe as they look to retreat out here. Black, a little bit further up around the corner. Super has been isolated again. It's to be careful. He's going to pop the Exorcism, but he just gets bursted down. It's not scary enough to stop four heroes. I think that Roshan is on the agenda, but uh, I don't think C9 are going for that just yet. And Old King is going out bottom lane. Bone 7 would be a very aggressive TP in, but he's got his blade mail. So all of that damage gets reflected back. It's one for one to start things off. Fada holding onto that haste rune, latching on to FY. He's gonna finish him off in a couple more right clicks. It's a three for one so far. The exorcism coming in from Super. Isis Ice isolated in the tree lines. Pylai die trying to run away, still alive for now. That's a four for one in favor of C9. Moonlight Shadow coming in from AUI. Pins are coming in from the back as well from Fada. They're going to try and run past the Nether Ward here. Super is still with the last couple of seconds of this exorcism. Still alive for now, a little bit further down. They have finished off Pugna with a TP in from Bone 7. Super now stunned up by Pi. Will be right click down. Ice 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 trying to escape over in the 9. And well, Vici looks like they'd like to try and defend this, but there's only two people over here. Ice 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 going to Firefly up. Dread jumps onto AUI. They drop the Mystic Flare. They've got a Flame Break to bring him down as well. Just one kill in the face of C9. Still pounding away at Roshan. Fata trying to zone away Isis Ice, just poking his head over the edge of the pit, but the Radiance Burn and the Wraith Fire Blast will drop him low. Another Flame Break gonna try and bump a couple of heroes up onto the high ground. Blinks across, but Pylai dies there waiting for him. Fata finishes him from within the pit. The rest of Ichi Gaming turning up, but with the Song of the Siren, Roshan secure. Aegis on the Fata along with the BKB, and he is more than ready to take this fight. BKB popped off, still has a Static Link ready to be used, but Fenrir, not long for this world. Everybody on Vichy Gaming just turning tail and running away. On 7 considering the TP in, gets the... Sp no, it doesn't get the spat out. In fact, looks like Black might be able to TP. No, Net from Envy cancels that. 
we might see Vici Gaming drag this game out a little bit since they do have some answers to at least the Naga Siren. Pilot Eyes going to be caught out, but he's just got a Blade Mail and a Reincarnation here, so I don't know what the plan is. In comes an Arrow, catches Isis Sights, crowd into FY. He's not getting out of here. All they got was the Reincarnation from the Wraith King. Easy kills picked up by C9, 10 kills the lead. Envy playing very aggressively down on bottom lane, but he can just song. Nope, silenced up. Super still chasing as the Yules. Yules up into the air, Song probably not going to save him at this point as he goes to finish him off. Uh, and Super does lose that one kill, but with Exorcism on cooldown and a double damage on Fata, C9 just going to use this space to pick up another tier 2 tower and the final tier 2 tower of the game. Echo Slam comes in, Fender has finally picked up his Blink Dagger, but it just doesn't matter. Pylai die, chops him down quick, smart Batrider, trying to rejoin. See what he can do here with the flame break. Jumps out, Firefly forward. There's the flame break, but he misses. Pylai dies. The stun hits across. Mystic Flare onto two. Bone Seven and AUA taking some pretty big damage, but the mech keeps them safe for now. 30 HP on Bone Seven as he continues to live. Pylai died. Just going to pop the blade mail and run into the edge of the Firefly, trying to finish off Ice Ice Ice. Not going to happen. Will be brought down. So. Just 1400 up for him. Is there anything on the courier? Nope, that's just a Shiva's guard recipe for Fada. He's gonna be dragged over. They drag him out of the Mystic Flare, but I think they still have the burst damage anyway. Song of the Siren, however, gonna come in, and they're just waiting for this Aegis Bone 7 in position with his Necrobook. The Nether Ward has been dropped down, but Ice 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 already gone. Pylai dies, topping the Blade Mail, but that's futile. And yeah, Song of the Siren from Envy just to catch him. But yeah, Bone 7 gonna be TPing in as well. They're pinging out on Ice 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 as the arrow comes in. Nice coordination from C9, preventing the initiation from Isis Ice. They do get the Exorcism out, gonna try and kite away from that one. Envy could dispel the silence, but it doesn't really matter. As Fada comes in, cleans up a double with BKB, Static Link, and Eye of the Storm active, chasing down Super. Buyback from Ice Ice Ice, but he doesn't want to run into the middle of all of this. Black also brought down uh, by Pylite Die and Bone 7. Ice 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 is gonna be going for a drag back on Eternal Envy, pushes him into the tier 4s, but Will he even be brought down? Fada also still alive with the Aegis. Manages to escape with the T9. Song of the Siren coming in. Eternal Envy isolating Black. Looks like he's going to be the next one focused. Pylai Dai putting a wall between the C9 team and Vici Gaming. Just using his own body with Blade Mail and Static Charge. They do manage to get Black a little bit further out. But Bone 7 with a deep TP does manage to bring down two. Killing off both the Earthshaker and... Maybe C9 will give pause for that one as well. They've got a Song of the Siren coming up in just a couple of seconds. Net goes out of the Super. Buyback out of the Nature's Prophet. Four step away from Super, but it's right into the waiting arms of Bone 7. There's also Hexed up Black. Prophet also bounces through. Stun from Pylai Die, along with a big hit. Brings him down. C9 finds themselves in front of the top racks. And we'll be bringing that one down in short order. Envy does get isolated by Isis Ice. A nice Mystic Flare coming in as well. Finishes him off, but Fata cannot be stopped. With the double eye of the storm active, brings down another tier 3 tower. Looks towards the range drags. In the meantime, top lane, AUI and Bone 7 going to work. Pylai die is 1v3. Back at the Radiant Fountain. Envy's going to finally buy back into the game. Uh, looks like he's going to BOT his way over to bot. And here it does drop the dunk, but it immediately gets hexed up. AOI with the arrow finishes the kill. Fado still beyond godlike. And that will be the GG from FY, as we say. Well, Arrivederci, at least for now, as Vici Gaming are going to be heading down into the lower bracket. Envy will pause the game uh, before it ends, for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. That was that's a that's a bit of a manner pause, but um so game's over. Uh Vichy Gaming are gonna be heading down to the lower bracket to await the winner of our lower bracket our lower bracket final. So they're gonna go wait down in the consolation final and congratulations to C9. Not done just yet, they're gonna have to try and make a run through the lower bracket, and we'll see over the course of the rest of the day if they can make the run back. Thank you guys for watching, see you soon.